Okay, so let's practice using EC2 Image Builder. So let's go into the EC2 Image Builder service and have a play with it. So I'm into the service. We can get started. We can create an image pipeline. And so here's our first pipeline. We'll call it My Demo Pipeline. And then we have the option to create a build schedule. So as we can see here, we can schedule it to happen every week on Monday at 9 a.m. and customize this. Um, and we can also say that you should run at the schedule time only if there are dependency updates, these kind of things, or just run every time based on schedule. We can specify a cron expression, but we'll just have it manual because we're running it manually in this hands-on. I'll click on next. Next, we need to choose a recipe. And so a recipe is a document that defines how the source image is going to be customized. And we need to create a new recipe because we don't have one yet. And here we have two options. We can create either an AMI out of the EC2 image builder service or a Docker image. But for this instance, we'll use an AMI. Okay, so we'll call it my demo recipe. We need to provide a version, so 1.0.0. And then we need to select a source image. So we can either create one from images created by AWS or enter a custom AMI ID. So we'll just go with manage images. We'll choose Amazon Linux 2, but we have different options as well. As you can see, we'll scroll down. The image origin is going to be quick start from Amazon managed. And for the image IRN, please choose Amazon Linux 2 x86. Okay, do not choose ARM64, choose x86, otherwise you will see an error later on. Then we'll click on use the latest available OS version. We'll scroll down. And here is the interesting part. So components is how do we want to customize our image? So we can apply uh, the build components that are pre-created by AWS. For example, if we wanted to have Java on our image and our AMI, currently there's no Java on Amazon Linux 2, but if you select Amazon Coreto 11 headless, then you would have Java 11 being installed on your AMI. So great. And if you go to the next page, there's another thing I want to install, which is AWS CLI version 2 Linux. So currently only version 1 is installed onto my AMI, but if I wanted to upgrade it to version 2, then I could select this build component. And it is possible for you to really create your own build components if you wanted to, if you wanted to customize and install your own application, for example. Okay, so let's scroll down. And as we can see now, we have the two components. We can reorder in which order they are going to be installed. So we can say first install the CLI version 2 and then install the Java 11 from Amazon called Coreto. Okay, next, how do we want to test that the AMI is working post-build? Uh, we have different tests available here. We can create our own test, but I'm going to skip this because we don't want to run any tests on our instance. And then I will click on next. Okay, so next, how do we want to create the CMI? On what type of EC2 instances do we want to create our image? And so as we can see here, we can either create the infrastructure using service defaults or create a new infrastructure configuration. So we want to select the last option. And for this, we'll create an IAM role. So we'll call it uh, the IAM role here. We'll see, we have to choose. Currently, we have no results available, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new role for EC2 image builder. So I'll click on create new role. And I'm going to roles, and I will click on create role for an image service. And this is going to be a role for EC2 instances, next permissions. And so here we need to start attaching policies. So if I go back to the EC2 image builder and click on create using service defaults, it says that here, in order to have a correct role, we need to create a role name with this role name. So I'm going to, uh, sorry, the role name will have a late letter, but we need to attach some policies to it. So we need to attach this first policy called the EC2 instance profile for image builder. We need to attach the second policy, which is ECR container builds, if we wanted to create Docker images. And the last we need to create to attach is the Amazon SSM managed instance core managed policy. So all these things are necessary for EC2 image builder to work. I click on add tags, next review, and the role name, I'm just going to give the default role name right here. So I'm creating this role manually because when I did create it automatically, it wasn't correctly working. So I want to make sure this is done correctly. So we have this create role dialog and we're good to go. Okay, so the role has been created. Here's my EC2 instance profile for image builder that has been created. And now in the image builder, I'm going to click on create new infrastructure configuration, my demo uh, infra. 
And the IM role I'm going to choose is the role I just created right now called the EC2 instance profile for image builder. Okay. Now, why do we do this? Well, because we want to be able to customize the AWS infrastructure. And as such, I want the instance type to be of type uh, t2.micro. And the reason I'm doing this is that I really want um, to be able to run on the free tier for this hands-on so that you don't pay any money. If you were to run with the default settings, then it would start launching an M5 large instance and you would have to pay for it, obviously. And as you can see, the t2micro only has the x86 architecture. It doesn't have the ARM64, and this is why we've selected an AMI that was x86 and not ARM64. So next, I scroll down, click on Next, and then for distribution settings, we can either use the defaults and see that my AMI is going to be distributed in the region I'm in, which is EU West 2, but you could create a new distribution setting, and in here, you can set up region 1, but also set up region 2, and region three, for example, if you wanted to distribute your AMI to different regions automatically, which is really, really handy. But for this hands-on, we'll just use the service defaults and have the AMI in one region. I click on next. Everything does look good to me and I will click on create pipeline. Okay, so everything has been created. Now let's click on our pipeline, my demo pipeline, and I'm going to do action and run pipeline. And this is going to start an execution. And so here I can click on view details and we're going to go straight into uh, the execution. So here is the output image. It is pending. I'm going to click on it. This opens a new screen and I'm going to wait until the build starts. Okay, so my instance is now in the building stage. And so that means that if I go into the EC2 service, I should start seeing an EC2 instance. So let's go into the EC2 service. Let's close this, go to instances, close this again. And we have here our build instance for my demo recipe. So this instance was created by EC2 Image Builder. And you can verify it by going into tags, for example. And you can see that the created by tag is for EC2 Image Builder. The EC2 Image Builder ARN corresponds to the pipeline we've created. Uh, the image we created, and the name is build instance for my demo recipe. So some stuff is happening right now on my instance. As we can see, the IAM role for my instance is EC2 instance profile for image builder, which is the role that we have created just before that contains the three policies that we've attached manually to make sure that everything was working correctly. So what I'm going to do now is just pause the video and wait for the build stage to be done. So I just refreshed the page and the status is now testing. So let's go have a look at what's happening here. So if I go into my instances and refresh this, we can see that my builder instance has now been terminated because we have built the AMI from it. And my test instance is now running. And if I look at my test instance and scroll down, we can see that the AMI right here, which I'm going to click on, the AMI is a new AMI that has been created. And the AMI name is my demo recipe and contains a timestamp of when it was created. So now the test instance is actually launched from this new AMI and is being tested. So this AMI, as we can see, if we go to the tags, has been created by the EC2 image builder service, and we can see the ARN right here as well. So this is quite cool because now we can see that the AMI has been automatically created and now it's in the test phase. So let's wait a little bit until the test is done. Okay, so now the status is distributing. So the test phase is now done. So there was no test being run on our AMI, obviously, but if there were any tests, then the test instance would have been running this test. So now the instance test is also being terminated, uh, which is good. And then we are in the last stage, which is the distribution setting. So if we look at it, right now we only distribute to one region, which is EU West 2, which is where the AMI was created. So nothing much is going to happen. But if we were... Uh, distributing that image into the United States, into Southeast Asia, all these kind of places, then the distribution would happen right now. Okay, so my image is now available, and this was good. So if you go to images, we can see that it was created. So perfect. So let's just make sure that it actually did what I wanted to do. So if I go and launch an instance, I can go to my AMIs and choose my demo recipe right here. Click on select. Uh, a T2 micro, which is good. I will configure the instance details. I want one instance. Um, everything is good here. Uh, I will add storage, uh, add tags, configure security group, 
And I just want a security group that allows SSH from anywhere. So review and launch, launch. And I don't have a key pair uh, because I'm going to use EC2 instance connect just to show you that it works. So, and for this, we don't need a, as a, we don't need a, a key pair for this. So my instance is now being created from my new AMI. Okay, so my instance is running. I'm going to click on connect and use the EC2 instance connect here. And I'm going to use the custom name EC2 user. So don't use root. I don't think it was detecting EC2 user because it's a custom AMI. So it assumes that it's a different username, but we are based off of Amazon Linux 2. So we'll use the EC2 user username. And I will click on connect. And because I opened my SSH port, I should be in. Yes, I am in. Perfect. So let's make sure that it was customized as we want it. So if I do AWS minus minus version, this is going to give me the version of my AWS CLI. So we can see that the CLI is now in version two. So this is correct. And if I do Java minus version, we can see that it is running the version 11 of Java. And this is the Corito build. So the both the customizations that we planned into EC2 image builder are working and set up correctly on our AMI, which is quite cool. So that's it. Now I'm just going to clean up after myself. So I'm going to uh, terminate this instance by clicking on terminate right here. And then I can just go into my AMI and delete it as well as soon. So by registering it, as soon as uh, my instance is done, here we go, we're done. And for snapshots, let's go to snapshots. There's a snapshot that was created for my AMI. And this one I can delete as well. So my snapshot has been deleted. And now I'm all cleaned up. I can leave this running. I don't need it to delete it because EC2 Image Builder doesn't cost me anything. So that's it. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.